Hello, yes, I'm back. I'm so sorry, it's been so long. Totally my fault. I've been struggling with a lot of work. Just motivation to get the camera out. Now I have been running, so don't worry about that. And I have been training. I just haven't been taking the camera with me. And today I thought, just do it. Just take the camera out, talk to you guys, and it is what it is. So here we go. So just behind me there is Winchcombe and uh, come over to do some of the Winchcombe Way today. One half of it. So yeah, the Winchcombe Way is around 40 miles in total, split into two halves and uh, they border Winchcombe. Today I'm doing the east side, which is about 20, 22 miles um, with the idea to do the west side at a later date and then do the whole thing and see how fast I can do it. But we've had terrible weather recently and today is a nice day so I thought I've got to make the most of it and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it. So as some of you may already know, I've got the East Devon round at the end of April, which is roughly two weeks away now. And the week before that, I'm actually in India with work. So that'll be a forced sort of taper. But also I'm a bit worried about the jet lag and the tiredness because I get back late Thursday night and the race is on Saturday. But just need to deal with that. So the weather's looking a lot better next week and I might try and get out and do my last few runs in the good weather. I've been managing to get in some decent runs, medium length and long, so that's been good. And uh, injury has stayed away and I should be getting some new poles today. So uh, it won't leave me much time to train for them at the East Devon round, but they really meant for the Lake and 100 later in the year. I was meant to obviously be doing a training series for the East Devon round, but failed to do that. I mean, I have been training, just not documenting it, so sorry about that. But however, if you would like to see my race coverage of the East Devon round, let me know uh, and I'll film it because I'm still deciding whether I should film it or not. I do like filming my races, however. I want to take poles and uh, I'm not sure I'll be coordinated enough but uh, if there's a demand for it I'll certainly try and make it happen 
and then I really want to do a Cotswold Way recce series um, break it down into sections and run it so that anyone who wants to run it or is running it can follow um, and see just what it's like out on course still loving trail running and today I'm exploring completely new trails as I mentioned before on the Winchcombe Way and so far it's been amazing I can highly recommend the east side at least so far and I'll probably film my whole attempt of the whole route later in the year but on days like this it's hard to beat isn't it my favourite Cotswold Way now leads into Winchcombe last five miles or so okay so I'm back home now uh, the wind really picked up at the end of that run so uh, the audio wasn't great so I thought I'd just um, say something now um, and I just missed the showers as well so that was good but that run was 22 miles in all uh, that was the Winchcombe Way the east side of it and I had two main goals for that one was to fuel properly uh, which I did and the other one was just to control my pacing um, in the weeks to come I'll tell you of my two special numbers for this year and those are 11 and 14 um, so I'll tell you a bit more about what they mean and why I've chosen those numbers um, later on but I hope you enjoyed that it's just a quick welcome back thanks for sticking around Robin's still here of course um, donkey as ever thank you for sticking around and hopefully this is the the start of some more regular content from myself. All right, I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.